All right, let's play this here. Yeah. Yeah. Poor guy, he seems tired. All right, looking at this, I think the main thing that stands out is how the arm and body up movement is very much tied together. Same thing when it ends here. This comes down, body and head come down, ba -boom, and then both go up. So the biggest thing for me would be to offset this. And you can think in terms of like, what is that? Is the is the strenuous? Is really tired for the character? Maybe this area and elbow would lead, head would drag, maybe the chest a bit, and then the head down, and then as it gets up to around here, that's when the rest of the the chest, especially the head, go up with a slight drag, and then boom on that impact during like those couple of frames. That's when the last you know maybe two frames of the chest and the last three four frames of the head ba -ba -boom, will overlap for impact. I think that's the main thing that I'm seeing. The other thing, I'm all for not having default rotations and all that good stuff, but yeah, there's a slight feeling of it being too twisted over the wrist. It almost feels broken. It might just be more of the, the front view. I'm just looking at this, how much it goes out. And I think what we can see, you know, if you had the elbow out a bit more like that. So imagine it comes out just a bit more if, if you can pull out those... Uh, pull vectors I think that's going to help you there's also a slight hiccup in the hands let's pick the right one it feels like it does something like this let's see okay you have a couple things you have a rotation that goes out this way and then suddenly stops so after two frames it stops and it suddenly goes back in this way and then it feels like we're going up fairly straight and then we have a sudden move out and that move has a very flat feel to it into a nicer arc but like the beginning could have a nicer arc as well and it's cycled so it would be probably be the same thing let me see the arm goes up yeah, yeah it just has a general feel of well he copy left right on the rotations but then generally it feels like it's just doing something like that again the end rotation feels nice just the arc at the beginning is a bit rough there and then I would have something where we are potentially ever so slightly more in with the fingers. So that when you when you go out and roll off and compress, the fingers can come out a bit. And then on this, they go in. So they're not so defaulty out. Up until here where they're again in and then ba -ba, on that impact, they come out for a swirl of squash there. The legs are very straight like i don't see any arcs in these so i would have the complexity of this right so when you bring up and you have that side rotation in it, that's great so the leg when this goes up let me just go all the way back here right so when that leg comes up imagine there's a slight rotation to the side where the leg might go out like that and it's a bit snappy at the end so you can see that one last frame it's a bit poppy there a bit of a pop step there and then the tail just feels like it's dead adding to that whole tired feeling but maybe you can just have like a little bit over rotation on here so whenever the rule changes there's a bit more in here going left and right yeah like these are the main issues you know like anything you will charge you will start changing um that how it maybe leads and then that will change also the elbow and that will change some of the rotation in the head so there's just some compounding stuff going on so i will leave it at that because it's for me the the bigger issues let me just see here cool that's too fast to me just that impact it's probably this as you go up slow slow and then suddenly pa, 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 how quickly that arm moves how quickly we have this here. Oh, God, it's a bit of a wall here to the left. But then it's also that feeling of you're initiating an arc, right, going up, and then suddenly we go straight down versus if you're here, here, the next one, I will bring up that head a bit higher, higher, higher into that. 
And the other harsh feel is that there's so much momentum going to the left. But then, bam, here we're stopping it. Boom! Hits that wall where it would it would overshoot a lot more. And then you end up being very off balance. You have to take a step back. So, maybe there's some tweaks. Yeah, just generally. I mean, there's definitely the weight at the end. It's still exaggerated and more pulled down versus physics of just dropping. But I still buy it enough. There's enough of stylization in there. Especially with the bounciness here. Where it doesn't just get pulled down and then can stays on the floor. There's enough bounce where there's still momentum and weight and all that happening. But that beginning feels really fast. Yeah. Really killing the weight. And then same thing on some of these where how these sections go up and down where they just go up and take this for instance right goes up up also very straight gonna have a little bit of an arc in there and then it just hits that wall and then comes down over one frame but it really starts killing that weight again and watch out got some intersections some heavy ones with the thumb here but generally it feels a bit stroby poppy on some of these while contrasted with these fingers here so it's moving up and down Again, straight, there are not you know, ginormous arcs in the fingers, but something in the wrist could have a little bit of an arc in there. And then they'll be slightly offset, so it's not also straight in default. I'm just kind of taking away those quick pops. But I do like the hang time. That I really like. It's just that beginning, especially. Yeah, some cool stuff. Even the tail at the end, when you watch that little just comes down and then dies a bit. It's a little bit something more in there. One more little bounce. And watching out that things don't land at the same time. There's a bit of a finger mirroring here. How they close at the same time. But yeah, that middle part. Definitely a fan. Dragging this out nicely. Ooh, that one's fast. Let me go back. Right. Cool. Cool, cool. It's borderline fast every now and then. I can kind of buy that swipe. But to me, what happens, it's it feels very straight. There's a bit of an arc in there. It's a little bit straight. But it's mostly how spacing-wise we are. If you look at that line there, it pops up. And then we're here. And it's barely going up and immediately going down. That gives me that that weird, fast, sudden stop pop feel. It's better on this one, on that second one. But really fast. It's that frame here that makes it really poppy fast. So you just have to make a choice there. Like how light do you want this thing to feel? And also watch out. It feels like we're suddenly lifting roots, chest, leg, all at the same time. Almost was like an extended, overextended IK leg that then suddenly pops into a bend here. Watch out for that. But given the timing of the other ones, I think my main thing is going to be looking at what is the timing here. Go back. That's not too bad. They all are slightly too fast, but for me, it's just that sudden stop makes it that. It's just, yeah, that little pop. I guess in here, I, I mostly buy this one though. But then there's a little bit of, we're almost not long enough back here to to go back. It's not too bad, ever so slightly. But then we have this where the body's kind of staying put and then whoa, then we got to pop in the whole root. And then visually kind of stays put and almost locks here. That kind of kills the weight. I don't mind this one. Boom. And then right here, let's see, it's just how this comes back and then suddenly pops over one frame. And then, whoa, goes the other way. It's a little one frame direction change. It's a bit tough there. And then generally, watch out for silhouettes where arms are like this. You don't want to have a bend straight to camera. It's a little bit down here, which is good. But then it really lingers in this area where, like, this is a really short arm. So bends I would have either above or beyond, above or beyond, top or below. Um, something like here where we understand the length of the structure and this feels more like a short arm silhouette wise. 
And then at the end, watch out. Kind of we're dying like a couple frames with no animation. So watch out. Gonna cut out a bit sooner. That's my main thing is basically timing in those big moments. I mean, there could be things like you bring this leg forward. There needs to be more of a roll on the toes, bringing in the fingers and not so flat on the down, but a bit of a, you know, sideways and then plants. And then as it gets up, maybe some compression. I think there's a lot of detail stuff still missing in all of these. But I think given the bigger, at least subjectively to me, timing issues, that's something that we can address at a later point. You know, you have to think in terms of, okay, if you put a human here, is the human this tall? Is the human this tall? Is it this tall? Like, what is the scale comparison? Because if I look at a creature like this, this seems pretty big to me. I'm not going to say this is like a ginormous thing or a kaiju type of thing where, like, I don't know, I feel like a human is probably this tall. I know that's kind of how how I, I look at this. And then with that mass, there's still a sense of scale and weight that suddenly breaks. Unless you're saying, well, that's like a little creature and the human is this tall. And it's kind of like a little, you know, tiny dinosaur creature monster type of thing. So think in those terms and then I would be consistent with the weight. If that makes sense. That's pretty cool. I like that. There's some good stuff in there. The only thing I would say is there's a long pause in here. Well, there's a double frame in this cycle, so you're going to have to take that one frame, take it out so that when you go here, there's still a double frame here. So you have to go two frames back. Now it loops. Okay, that's better. So watch out how you submit cycles just for yourself. Also, make sure that you trim. Usually it's the first and last frame that are mirrored. So if you suddenly are confused about some timing issues, you have two um, dead frames there, which already helps. There's definitely less of a pause. There's some good. I like the drive down on the head. I love that it goes up this way. That more complex in its rotations. Very cool. I love the little flap on the fingers back. A little bit of an arc. I think watch out for some of the spacing. Especially right through there. If you put this and I put onion skinning on right there, right? It feels like whoop, whoop, we're pivoting off this section here. Right there. There's something right there. We're pivoting off the knuckles. So just spacing wise, watch out how that looks like. It's a bit poppy on those elbows going here to here. Pam down and then out. And then suddenly up to the left. Has a good impact, but it's just ever slightly poppy. I would cheat some of this, the spacing. So we have, if this thing comes down, it's a bit more like this. Versus, you can see how that corner pops out and then back in and then out again and then in again. It's kind of smoothing out some of those things. Your legs, though, are still very straight. I would give this a bit more of an inner or outer arc. And the tail is a bit too floppy, rigid there. Give this a bit more love. Can be stiffer here, but then it gets a bit softer there. But generally, really cool. I'm a big fan of of the head leading actions like these. And sometimes you use almost like a horse where it would actually go up more, like lead more upwards. But I like that it actually doesn't do that. It goes down, down. That's cool. Definitely the most successful one to me. Cool, cool feeling. Sorry if you hear some weird noises in the background. That's my dog. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. It's really hot today. He is panting. Oh, and that's it. Well, then that's it for me. Just as the dog uh, starts panting, that's it for me. And uh, yeah, thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.